Look, even if you're not very smart, okay, there's a reality, and it is that if you're halfway up the food chain in terms of intelligence, that means that basically half the world is not as smart as you. And that means sometimes that it can be very hard to be humble in your person, right? That's, that's kind of a hard thing. And we all get stuck in that. Now, I used to use this exercise, and the exercise looks like this. When you zoom out from my little house, which I occupy a very small space of at any given time, the house looks pretty big by comparison to me. And then you zoom out again and you get to the state, let's say. Now my house is a dot, a tiny little dot on the map because you can't actually see the house at all. Now let's zoom out again and this time we're looking at the country. And the state looks like a little square inside if you actually delineate the borders of the state. Okay, now let's get out to the globe. Now the country is visible, the state not is sort of, but not really. Okay, and the point is you can keep doing the zoom out process for a very long time, right? And the next thing you know, you're looking at the sun. And if you ever saw the old AutoCAD uh, faithful rendering of the, of the uh, solar system, you will see that the Earth doesn't show as a dot on its line in its orbit around the sun. So we're going to talk today a little bit about humility on the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I am your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Tuesday, the 20th of April, 2021. Glad to have you here, whether it's on Rumble, on YouTube, on the podcast, wherever it happens to be. Uh, as I have already said, the subject of today will be humility. It's what we're going to talk about today because I think it's a very important thing, and I think a lot of us at times have problems with it. I'll be honest with you. Most of the time, I do not have problems with it. Remember I was talking before about your intelligence level? Well, I put in my notes, even assuming one believes oneself to be wise, one can and should embrace humility. And you start asking yourself these questions like, how did I live to be this old? Was I allowed to not have early onset dementia or did I do really clever things? I'll, I'm here to tell you I didn't do really clever things necessarily. Not to say I did horribly bad things, but I didn't really do horribly clever ones either. Could I have suffered brain damage at some point along the way? The point being, if I'd gotten into a car accident where my head had gotten injured or had fallen somewhere and hit my head or whatever, could I have suffered brain damage? Of course that could have happened, right? Uh... I have friends who are my age, and I'm not young, but I'm not really old, who have suffered strokes. Um, who knows how not having one may have kept my processing power alive, okay? The point of all of this that I'm saying to you is, look, first of all, if you look at this tiny, the tiny little speck of a person that I am on a tiny little a uh, speck of dirt orbiting a not-so-large matchstick, match head, that's on fire, right, in a sea of a trillion matches, right, suddenly how much of anything I actually am becomes really, really questionable, right? This is, this is the thing that you have to realize. If, if you're not humble it's probably because you haven't really looked at the universe around you. Because look, let me just tell you something. Whales make me look stupid and weak. Uh, I don't know if... I, I tell people this story, and I remember it, and I may be remembering it incorrectly, but it is what I recall having happened. I was working in Darwin, Australia, in the Northern Territory of Australia, at a... At a uh, not a zoo, but it was a uh, circus. And the circus had animals in the circus. And one of the animals that they had was a chimpanzee. Now, you've all seen chimpanzees. Oh, they're lovely, wonderful creatures, right? They had this cage. And I swear to you, now I could be misremembering this, but this is what I remember, that that chimpanzee reached up, grabbed the corner of the door of the cage that it was in, bent it down, and then bent it back up again. You don't realize how much strength a chimp Forget a gorilla. A chimp has that you probably don't. Okay? So when it comes to strength, I hate to say this, but probably the strongest people on the world on the earth are easily outdone by even critters that are fairly similar in what they look like and so forth to man. Forget about the bigger, stronger ones, right? 
Uh, when it comes to living longer, well, the Aldabra tortoise has me by probably a minimum of 50 years and probably more like a 150 or, or 200 or maybe more, right, depending on how long I live. The point of all of this is when you really sit and think about things, humility is not all that hard to come by. And when you realize that you're not all that, when you realize that all of these people strutting around acting like they're the big stuff, a hundred years from now are not even going to be on the planet, right? When you realize that, suddenly, suddenly you come to realize, you come to understand that humility is something that you should probably possess in spades. And here's the thing. There are people who can out-sing me. There are people who can out-think me. There are people who can out-chess play me. There are people who can out-football me. There, can, there are people out there who can out-basketball me. There are people who can out-jump me. Just about anything I can figure out to do, including talk, including uh, pontificate, there are people out there who do as well or better than I do all day long. How can you not have humility knowing that all of this is true? The point of the, the way, I'll put it this way, the way that to me that I come back to a place of humility is just to think about all of the things that are going on around me that make me look plumb stupid. And there are so many, right? And again, you know, I think about it and I realize, look, I have had, whether you call it being blessed or whether you say it's good fortune, however you look at it, I consider it being blessed. I consider God taking care of me. That's what I consider is going on. But where I have not had that stroke, where I have not had that heart attack, where I have not had some form of cancer or other, like lots of people my age or some people my age that I know. I haven't had to deal with any of that. This is, to me, God taking care of me, boys and girls, whether you consider it luck of the draw or whatever. I didn't really do that because all it takes is one bad car accident. You're literally one bad car accident away from death. And if you manage to live through that car accident, or like the one fellow I know uh, who I see periodic updates from, where he's dealing with the fact that he had a stroke and one side of his body, of course, is doing like it does for a lot of folks and not behaving like it should, right? That guy could have just as easily, you know, there's the old expression there, but for the grace of God, go I, right? <laughs> that could have as easily been me as him. That could have been every bit as easily been me. The other guy who uh, did a living with cancer thing where he took a bunch of people along for the ride as he went through cancer that finally, as far as I know, eventually killed him. The thing about it is, I could have been that guy too. I could have been that guy too. If you think about your life and you're not humbled by who and where you are, you just haven't thought about things very well, people. You just haven't. If you can't say... And the older you get, the more this is true, by the way, right? Because when you're young, you don't even really think about anything. Most people, as they say, when they're young are indestructible, right? They think that they're never going to have anything go wrong or be a problem. And there are some young people who can't do that because they've had things go wrong or be problems. They're literally, they're babies with cancer and with all kinds of malformations and so forth, right? But my point here is this. The older you get, the more you should come to realize that it's, if nothing else, it's the luck of the draw. For me, like I say, it's God blessing me, okay? That's what it is. But if nothing else, it's the luck of the draw that to this point in my life, I have survived in the health and in the mental ability and acuity and so forth that I have. I don't look at that and go, look at me, aren't I wonderful? I have been blessed of God in my view, and that's what puts me where I am. What I'm trying to say to you is this. If you're not humble, maybe it's time to start thinking about looking at the world around you and coming to some realizations about where you could be as compared to where you are. And literally, like I say, you can say there's no God. You can do that if you want. But even if you do, the luck of the draw has kept you alive and has kept you healthy. All right, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about the subject of legislative logjam, and I think you're going to find this interesting because, in my opinion, they that's pretty much what needs to happen is often 
legislative log jams. Uh, this has been the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I have been the host for today. My name is Kurt. In case you didn't know that already, I imagine you did if you've watched my Daily Summation before. Uh, today it has been, or and is, Tuesday the 20th of April of 2021. That means tomorrow will be Wednesday the 21st of April of 2021. I have every intent to do another Daily Summation uh, when I wake myself up on the... Uh, tomorrow and hopefully we will see you when I do tomorrow's day of summation. You have a great day. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Tuesday, April 20th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional and maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurt's Re Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the daily summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.